global coronavirus may have dropped the curtain on live theater for the most part, but for Portland's Coho Productions, the show will go on online. Yeah, the theater company is presenting a virtual run of its upcoming play, Black Box at Page to Stage. AM Extra's Melody Gonzalez takes us backstage. Good morning, Melody. Yeah, good morning. So Coho is ringing in its 25th anniversary, having to experiment with new ways to present theater and keep it alive during these challenging times. So this is what they're doing tonight. A pair of actors will return to the stage, socially distant, of course, to do a live performance and then bring it to the digital screen. We made it work and we get to do what we love. The stage is set, the spotlight is on, but the seats sit empty. All theaters are trying to figure out uh, how to keep things going. With no audience in house due to coronavirus precautions, Coho Productions is going digital and turning the virtual world into its second stage. Our theater people. Preparing to premiere scenes from Black Box Page to Stage, a novel written by theater company's co founder Gary Cole. As we film these scenes, we're not doing edits, we're not doing cuts. So the idea is to get the kind of spontaneity that you would get in a live theatrical performance. You're going to help me. Me. In one take, actors Marcella Lash and James Lester will perform live in person for the media. That will be filmed and then every week each scene will be released to audiences online. We have a real simple sort of setup and um, we can be socially distanced uh, and this still have the scene come to life in a, a really natural way. From Zoom script reads to socially distant rehearsals, both actors have had to adapt to a new type of normal. It was our first rehearsal in the space together and it's six feet and masks everywhere, sanitizer. It's been challenging, but uh, I am learning a lot. <laughs> Bringing a live performance from the stage to the screen, the virtual show helps keep theater alive with 75% of ticket sales going to the Oregon Arts and Culture Recovery Program. Really glad I get to do this. Now, a remainder of the proceeds will go back to Coho Theater to help cover the loss they sustained from having to close and cancel several performances. A link on where to purchase tickets for the virtual event will be posted on coin.com. Yeah, props for creativity. Yeah. I love that they're trying to make it work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was exciting to be able to, you know, go to the stage and see some, it was only two actors, but at least at least it's something, right? Yeah, just and to see a like performance. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I personally couldn't remember the last time I stepped into a theater, so. Yeah. It has to be really fulfilling for those actors as well, mm -hmm. just to get to do what yeah. they love. Yeah, I'm all right. Great. Thanks, Melody.